question cannot be early to me. So earlier it was a bit too chaotic. So wait the end of the questions before leaving, please. Okay. Thank you for everyone uh, for coming today. Uh, we're going to talk about my rocks in the wild, wild west. And um, to start the talk, if you if we haven't met, please uh, add me on Twitter or follow. Uh, my name is Alkin, and I work at uh, Paracona in Managed Services Department, as uh, Paracona and a few other people over here. Uh, today's agenda will be I'm going to introduce um, my rocks and uh, talk about some of the background and some notes. Uh, we won't get into two details. There are, uh, the slides will be available, and I will provide a lot of links, blog posts, and information. And if you want to have asked questions, you can reach out to me or some others in the, in the references. So what is MyRox? MyRox is a storage engine. It's a hidden gem in uh, MySQL, as I call it, because it exists there for a while, and uh, not many people know or use it. Um, and it's basically a key value store that is uh, added to um, MySQL. Uh, it's based off of Rocks DB, and it was also a fork of a level DB. So these technologies existed for a while. It's forked, and it had its own use cases, and started using. Uh, of course, this was uh, needed for some large operations, and, and we know that it's been implemented in Facebook. And uh, others also still use it as a Rocks DB or my Rocks distribution. Uh, there's a link provided. There's some new new blog post that actually identifies a few areas of interest that actually utilize Rocks DB. And initially, it was a source code. Then it was uh, kind of take, picked up some attention and uh, brought into the attention of the uh, MySQL product providers other than Oracle, like My, uh, Percona and uh, MySQL, MariaDB, and um, released. So what is, how do we get MyRocks? We get it via uh, Percona server or MariaDB. Uh, Percona server introduced this in, in 2017 and all fully supported in 5.7 and 8 old releases. And uh, it's been also available uh, for a while um, in MariaDB from 10.3 and 10.2 later distributions. Uh, basically, they come uh, built in. You don't need to do an uh, extra download or anything like that. It comes with, if you download uh, Percona Server 8.0. I think uh, 18 is the latest version, it will come along with that. Um, there are some d differences between the distributions. So, so one main difference is the Facebook distribution. Facebook doesn't use the, the mainstream uh, version of, of Rocks, uh, Rocks DB, MyRocks implementation. And, uh, and the Percona server has some uh, different uh, implementations for the compression algorithms. And there are some minor differences in the data file uh, locations. The other thing that I wanted to highlight over here is the gap lock detection. This is like something major in the, the way that uh, the engine works. So the Percona server and the Facebook, it supports. Uh, Facebook doesn't actually use it. Percona server errors out. And the MariaDB, there is no gap lock de detection in, uh, in the MyRox engine. Uh, if you want to uh, read about some details, there will be some uh, links uh, which we won't get in now. OK, going back to um, the key value store. So we have the InnoDB engine versus um, LSM3 uh, style, which MyRox utilizes. I actually had to put up this uh, infamous uh, page and the link over here. Please have a read. So the way that it works is uh, data streams of key value pairs actually written in the, in the um, mem tables, which is the memory, actually. And then they're flushed to the disk uh, in a level format. And uh, the compaction happens in each level to create a small, uh, larger, uh, small number of files. Um, that's the main difference between the B3 and the, where B3 actually uh, handles the data stream is uh, slightly different than the LSM. So this is uh, the, the right uh, picture is, is, is what the MyRox actually uh, utilizes. So in short, over here, the B3 actually uh, mostly read optimized, as we know, uses buffer pool, utilizes, uh, and, and actually writes are in place. And, uh, and the LSM tree, the, the, the writes are uh, sorted string tables are written uh, in sequentially. And then the compaction happens in the background uh, from the algorithms that we mentioned above. You could choose your algorithm and, uh, and then has a fast access to data. Uh, continue on the InnoDB, so not undermining what InnoDB can. InnoDB is a very powerful uh, storage engine and can be used in, in other uh, areas of Galera, 
library, uh, write set replica, and Percon extra DB cluster or group replication, where uh, MyRox is not. Um, you know, DB also provides different um, bin log formats that um, in MyRox we have to be in the uh, raw format, and um, and the transactions are limited to memory in in, in MyRox. Um, so. If we if we go back to MyRox and the components of the MyRox, I'm going to skip this uh, um, and and show you the, the how the write request is handled. And basically, we have the mem tables, the the write ahead log, which actually they go along together, and then the leveled LSM tree structure that actually does the um, data writing. And the compaction happens in the in the in the background. For the logically partitioning, we have also column families. And uh, when a write request comes in. We have the um, active mem tables are actually um, written uh, immediately uh, with the write ahead log, and then they are uh, flushed to the to the sorted sync files, and uh, the compaction happens on that level. And this allows uh, the fast write and sorted files to be uh, available in the disk. Um, so we have uh, we have a co concept of uh, logically partitioning the the data with the column families and uh, the mem tables actually allow um, the writes to happen fast while we also have a log of it written in the in the storage and then gets flushed uh, to the table. So they are limited to 64 megabytes and um, and a fast read and write uh, optimized. The the wall is the write ahead log, which we actually compared uh, to our uh, InnoDB's read logs, and when an immediate write happens, it's also written into the log. This also helps the the crash recovery uh, of the engine. And uh, and the, and the MyRox actually um, the the similar way on the read request, actually the opposite way of the, trying to uh, achieve that information um, process via memory memory tables and then uh, which is which is similar to buffer pool in InnoDB and then with the index and the balloon filters you can actually access to those leveled and compacted data files and uh, and then retrieve them fast <laughs> so the level compaction is also um, targeted for uh, different data sizes and as the compaction happens it gets in a larger and larger uh, the fewer level is better, but the, if the data size is, is big, then you have actually fewer uh, files that are already sorted and merged into different uh, files. And there's more details about uh, Yoshinori's uh, tutorial over here. There's a link. It's a very detailed uh, explanation that he made. Um, <coughs> so there are some uh, improvements over the, the compaction. So uh, they are um, aligned with the operating system uh, units and uh, and then also the Percona server. There has been some tests and benchmarks made in different algorithms. LZ4 was uh, selected as as uh, the medium um, level algorithm, and um, and then there are other compression methods that are also available. Um, so the column in the in the the other component over here that w wanted to highlight is the column column families. Um, so. It actually allows the, the partitioning of the, and the column failure also um, allows us to configure MyRox properly depending on the data set and that all the configuration parameters, which we will not get into it today, but um, you can actually have a, a more um, control over uh, the data, how it's been accessed. So um, we, there are some advantages on, on, the, on the disk versus in a DB on the LSM side um, and uh, there's a there's a you know the lower write penalty and uh, reduced fragmentation over it and um, so this is uh, being uh, advised as a, as a as a good fit for the write heavy workloads uh, also there are some advantages on the flash uh, with the compaction and the compression you get actually save space uh, and um, and uh, there is a lower write amplification for writing on the on the flash. Um, we mentioned about the gap lock, and there's a there's a row lo locking available. It's only read committed and repeatable read, and um, and then uh, we don't. Uh, I mean, my rocks doesn't support gap lock uh, as much as the InnoDB. For the replication side, it has to be row level. Um, and then they'll have a large bin logs, and um, 
Again, once again, the, the statement-based replication will cause gap locks, um, but you can still use it on the, on the uh, slaves. So um, this is the high level of uh, my, my rocks engine, and then how do we actually mix and match? It is not very much advised to mix and match you know, DB engine and the MyRox engine at the same server, but if you do, the, the, the extra backup still works. It's uh, on, only on 8.0 uh, with uh, the later versions of extra backup. And it's both optimized to take a backup of InnoDB and MyRox at the same time. And uh, there are no partial backups. So you can't actually write on an InnoDB and uh, write on, on MyRox maybe like a different um, application, different uh, the model. You can't say, OK, I just need the backup for MyRox. If you have the backup, you have to backup the whole uh, thing. It's so uh, you have to design it that way. MariaDB also, Maria, Maria Backup also supports after 10.2 on uh, later versions, they don't also support uh, MyRox uh, partial backups. There's also a MyRox hot backup tool um, that was originally designed to backup the, the Rox DB um, and, the, and the checkpoint and the, the log file, um, but that's only for um, MyRox. So there is a, there's a trade-off between to using the, the extra backup, Maria backup, or the, the MyRox hot backup. And that, that way, uh, you have to be uh, cautious about what your, your, what's your uh, recovery method is, is. There is also um, um, MySQL dump, and, uh, and you can basically dump the data um, from MyRox. And um, right now, snapshots are, are kind of uh, difficult when you're mixing the engine. And, and then on the MyRox side, you have to have the checkpoint and uh, the log to be able to go into that point of recovery. So if we go back to the, to the other tool compatibility, if we, let's say we have a MyRox engine in our um, ecosystem. So OK, PMM is per corner monitoring and management utility. It has built-in dashboards. So what that means is you have a system and catalog uh, files, uh, information schema, information that you can actually gather, sh uh, show engine, rocks DB uh, status uh, output. That information is there, so that, that tool is, is we consider it's compatible. You can actually monitor, analyze, and, and um, record uh, the events. Uh, the extra backup is supported. Uh, for the online schema change, it's partially supported because it's read committed. And um, PT table checksum and sync, you can't do it with uh, um, because th these are required to have a role level uh, bin log. Uh, so, so that's uh, that's the tooling compatibility. Uh, there's um, you need to plan ahead of time if you're actually going to test my rocks and how my tooling and automation and other stuff works. Um, okay, this is uh, the the benchmarks aren't. Uh, the, the subject of this talk, but uh, as a reference, we wanted to have an um, example over here. I will not go into too much details, which uh, when these uh, tests were, were ran, we were on 8.0.16. Uh, now we are on 8.0.18 and on engine. Uh, there has been some optimizer changes uh, lately, and then we believe there's uh, some numbers are might be skewed because of that. Um, I am from Percona. Percona's engineering department is working on new benchmarks, which I will also work with, uh, with some other um, friends over here to, to analyze. But uh, we can see in the, as, the, as the threads are, are higher, um, the uh, InnoDB gets, uh, gets kind of um, saturated, but uh, the IO bound network rocks DB excels in, in the SysBench uh, TPCC uh, Sys, uh, test. I'm sorry. Uh, these are these are writes, and uh, and then we have also read read and write um, uh, tests over here. Uh, same thing over here. You can see uh, in the in the rocks DB as the 64 threads and more, it uh, excels um, over uh, in a DB engine. Um, like I said, uh, we will we will um, share more um, benchmarks and details about the latest uh, developments uh, with the latest version we have. 
and uh, and then uh, compare some of the data versus but the the highlight of the the rocks db uh, my rocks engine is is to have it have a, a larger data set write uh, optimization so um so why uh, why would you use MyRox? Uh, because the in now there's uh, most of our clients are in cloud. They pay per uh, per, per disk and disk space. So um, your your costs are gonna not going to be just okay. I have these storage unit and it's going to run in the background and I can use it. This is like as you provision more. Uh, there's a link over here for another blog post that there is a comparison. Um, the chart is very small, but um, it's uh, it's. It's cost efficient for for cloud as you can actually uh, utilize and and use um, use uh, different compression algorithms to get uh, more more out of that uh, than InnoDB. Uh, I mean uh, there are some numbers that uh, Yoshinori actually shared earlier about uh, comparison between InnoDB compression versus uh, the, the the compaction that uh, RocksDB provides. It's much higher, so that way, uh, simply you can save cost in in the cloud, or or your storage. Uh, in conclusion, we um, we think it's it's big for big data sets are are actually more suitable. Um, if you have a lot of indexing, and again repeating over here for the right intensive workloads are are actually much more uh, suitable that we think. Um, so basically. Uh, the data that has a, has a, a read-write uh, type or a style of applications that actually you're writing and reading quickly, and that might be uh, suitable for that. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is uh, earlier the Rocks DB uh, as an as an engine as a technology is used in some other uh, areas. They're not like um, as far as we know, they're not like MyRox implementation of the engine. But the, the technology that relies underlying technology that's that's in the in the rocks DB is being used in several other uh, implementations. There's a blog post and a link at the end of the the slides. And I wanted to also thank uh, Yoshinoru and um, and Vadim Sweta and Mark, especially they put in a lot of work in in rocks DB. And Yoshinoru is over here if you have any questions. And um, and um, there has been extensive research and development to come to this level uh, where Facebook is running uh, with the migration of RocksDB. And thank you. You have time for questions. OK. Are there any questions? Can you repeat the question? No, you have to repeat. Oh, I have to repeat. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. The oh, the mic because of the mic. Yes. Sorry. Okay. Okay. The comparison between the MyRox and the TokuDB. Um, we have initially made some uh, comparisons, and uh, I will have to look up those. Um, the TokuDB uh, is also similar technology. It's, um, there are similar use cases, that uh, but all the data that we had or I found they were all outdated so there are really no good uh, comparison and um, as MyRox is being kind of accepted both Percona server and the MariaDB server adopted into it it's going into production as one of the largest web scale um, MySQL topologies in Facebook uh, we don't find too much value in, in going back and doing uh, testing in TokuDB right now so more more like a more InnoDB MySQL 8 um, comparisons where you actually have an option. Do I actually ha have a benefit from RocksDB, uh, MyRox implementation? Any other questions? You said you're using blue filters. Yes. I mean, most people today is moving to Gaussian filters, which are much more efficient and faster. Like Facebook just published the implementation in the Poly library. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe you would try it. I mean, it's an approximate dictionary, but it's much more efficient than a blue filter. So okay, so it's not a really a question, but it's more, more like suggestion. a yeah, suggestion and suggestion. Com yeah. commentary. Okay, so yeah, I don't know much of a, uh, details on that, but we'll have, we'll have to look at it. What was the question? Was suggesting to use Gaussian filters, which are like better 
approximated curry there is sort of like the one that they're looking at patients now as they are in the poly library. Okay, so it's more like a suggestion to yeah. use uh, uh, different filters than a balloon filters is the, is the question. Yes? Uh, how updates and deletes are handled? How updates and deletes are handled? Yes. Okay, so um, the, um, so how should I, um, okay, how updates and deletes are handled? Ba basically, we had, uh, we had a slide over, uh, I think over here, let me see. That's, uh, let's look. We still have time? Yeah. Okay. Not the young wind that told you. <laughs> okay. So basic basically uh, the way the way that it works is the 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 mem tables are, are handling uh, the writes and and uh, when they actually the sorted strings come in the when there's an update uh, you have uh, you have the, the merging, so the the writes are coming in and the updates are coming in for the data, and as as you already uh, compacted and uh, leveled the data into into the files, those sorted strings and it gets actually um, basically it's flushed and 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 redone in the in the memory, so basically it's an ongoing operation as far as I know, uh, the, the how it's handled. Oh, it needs to be later. Yes. Any other questions? Auntie. When I have gap locking, does it mean that you can run the same thing? That's the only reason you can uh, run the same thing by the port. Right. Good question. Does Percona have gap locking? It doesn't have a gap locking. It has a gap locking detection. So it actually detects there's a gap lock. There could be a gap lock, yes. Yes, yes, yes. So you basically error out. Error out, yes. But that also means that you can support the same thing. You can have, uh, yeah, well, you can't, you can't have mix and match, but you can't support it, so. But it, it, it detects that there's a gap locking. It's the detection. Range update, yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thanks for the question.